Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you a very cool game that is going to be Persona 5 Royal Oriented. It is a card game from Trick Gear. I guess this is sort of a revitalization, a new upbringing of the card game. And to do this, they are having a Persona 5 Royal Spin sort of collaboration take on this game. So let's go over the games. Let's go over what exactly you're going to be getting in each of the different card packs for the Persona 5 Royal. And basically, how much of these cards do you need in order to play this game? There's a certain set of cards you need to have with skill cards and just typical standard cards. There's a couple different decks that we're going to be going through here regarding this game and there might be more in the future so i'll keep you updated on that as well but yes trick gear is a japanese battle royale card game developed by japan desktop development played by cards using characters from various universes to fight use your characters skills to increase the number of cards in your hand while keeping your characters alive and dealing damage to your opponents to secure victory so this is going to be releasing in november 2020 don't have the exact date yet but this is going to be a sort of card game so trick gear is a re reborn version of the original wano skier produced by oz planning so this is sort of a reboot or a jump back into their series here the first available deck of cards for trick gear will be a collaboration with atlas's persona 5 royal like i said featuring familiar characters from the game uh, the Persona 5 Royal cards for Trick Gear will be released alongside the actual game. So it's going to be released alongside the actual Trick Gear game itself in November 2020. So the student and thief characters we have here, just, you know, Joker in his whole actual outfit. And then we have Joker here differently. So there's some different variations for the characters you can have for this in the Persona series. So it might be them and their outfits, might be them, you know, looking differently. So this is the actual Joker card. This looks like to be a, you know, a three here of spades. So we have different versions of what they actually end up looking like. The characters of the unique characters from Persona 5 Royal are reproduced to card form with skills bearing effects such as directly damaging opponents or recovering health, making full use of these skills depending on the situation, taking full advantage of these effects to win so this is in japanese but there might be english versions that are going to be releasing too as well i'll keep you updated on that but here's where we have to sort of dive into this and understand this game a little bit differently can you know against other games so you have the character like face character cards which look like this right they look a little bit differently then you have a standard deck of cards just a normal deck of just playing cards but it doesn't actually have the character on there with different character stats. But the deck of cards here that are the normal deck do look Persona, you know, themed. They're Persona 5 Royal themed, even with, you know, the new character being right there. So we have the actual themed of uh, Persona 5 Royal on the standard deck of cards, which you can really use for just about anything. But in order to play the actual Trick Gear game, you need to have these face cards here, which have different stats and different abilities, um, depending on which character you use. So this is, looks like to be the, all of the normal um, characters here without them being in their actual phantom suits or anything like that at all. This is just a normal um, look of what they look like without being in their actual outfits yet. but. We have two different decks that we're going to have to go over here when um, talking about this. There is a trailer out for the game as well if you want to go catch that um, after this video. But the actual Trick Gear Persona 5 Royal set, which is the going to be the so-called face cards, what I'm calling them as face cards, where it actually has the characters on them with different stats, different abilities, and stuff like that. That's going to run you 1,500 yen, including tax. So this is around $15 USD if you're buying this over here in the states so it's not too pricey it's not too bad but keep in mind you do have to buy two different decks of cards to play this game one must have a set of 54 playing cards just normal playing cards including two joker cards it is required for each player in addition to this product by joker cards they mean actual joker playing cards not persona 5 royal joker but actually just joker cards you need a 54 set of playing cards as well which is what this is right here it's the normal playing cards playing cards persona 5 the royals so is just an actual persona 5 royal playing card deck that they're going to be having releasing alongside this which is a 54 player card deck so this deck and the trick card deck is enough to be able to play the game um but the actual playing card deck is 1200 yen so it's about 12 dollars so in order to have the playing card deck 
and the actual trick card or trick gear deck it's going to run you about 27 26 dollars depending on tax and whatnot and this is just the i guess japanese release we should be expecting an english release of this hopefully we'll be seeing something like that if not it's not too hard to understand the game they're just playing cards so you kind of have the ones on there the aces their symbols and stuff like that you really don't need to know the japanese on the standard playing cards but the actual face cards with the different characters on them you might have to look those up to see what they exactly do if they're in Japanese. But if they release this in English, which I'm not 100% sure if they are yet or not, or if they're going to be having an announcement to actually put the game in English, I'm sure if enough people, you know, stirred Atlas up a bit, I'm sure they can end up getting this thing out in English. Because honestly, this looks really cool and just like something that I would really want to have. If not, if people are worried about that, at least getting the standard playing card deck is still pretty cool because you could use this for anything and you know the the letters on here aren't really a big deal they're not in japanese and well we use the same number system really so it's not actually a big deal this is something we can understand and not really have to worry about so at least we have this if we want to just buy some persona 5 royal cards but playing the trick gear is really going to be fun and it sounds like they said they use the collaboration of other games and other characters from other games so we might see some more cards from maybe other persona games or maybe other games that are out there on different anime games we can have a decent deck of cards you can keep holding and keep collecting where you can have fighting against different characters i'm sure different characters have different stats and whatnot so maybe the persona 5 royal ones will have some things that maybe some of the other decks from the other animes or games or stuff like that that they don't have so you might find specific cards in the persona 5 royal deck that's a little bit better than some of the other ones or they might just be different have different abilities so buying stuff from other series is also good to have as well because it says here there's over 600 combinations discover your own strongest combinations with that make up your weaknesses and that take advantage of each character's strength to aim for victory so it sounds like you're supposed to combine these characters together to do different abilities and do different things so yeah this game seems to be pretty cool it seems to be pretty fun the art looks good and honestly i think i'm kind of excited for this i want to see where this goes it is releasing in november like i said we don't have the exact date set so we don't 100 percent know for sure when it's ready to go i'm not sure if it's even ready for pre-order yet i don't even know where you would exactly go i'm sure atlas's stores might have this on there if not stuff like best bay maybe amazon has it i don't know we're gonna have to just wait and see. I'll keep you guys updated on this in the future though. I'll keep updated on more things, Shin Megami Tensei, Persona, just everything around Atlas in general of as to what's going on. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, please drop a like. I will always be here to keep uploading videos for you guys. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We're close to 1,200 subscribers. Super close. I'd love to hit that before the end of the month, but um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.